starting the approach for the Grand Teton. We'll see how it goes. No expectations to make it to the top. It's kind of a late start already. I've never been here before, but I think that's the lower saddle. Let's find out. I'm approaching the lower saddle now, and you can see the middle teeth on. Feeling good, staying on schedule. I don't know what the schedule really means. I kind of made it up as I started walking, so. So, I just climbed up the head wall of the, I guess it's not the head wall. It's like to the right of the head wall. Uh, the lower saddle. So it's down there. And now there's just some more switchbacks to go before we make it to the official top of the lower saddle. Whew. I saw it a long time ago. And I was like, oh, I'm almost there. It was deceptively far away. All right. There's the upper saddle and the rib that leads to it. Woo! So beautiful. I think that right there is the eye of the needle. Made it to the top of the upper saddle. All right, so I finished the crawl, but I hand traversed it. Then you just take the ledge until you hit like a wall. Then you go up this chimney. At least I'm gonna go up this chimney. I don't know if it's my first time. <laughs> but I think you go up this chimney. After the chimney, I stepped right. And I think, well, I kind of went up and then I went right. And I think this is the catwalk. Because it's kind of big. I don't know. We'll see. That means that we're going up that chimney. Sergeant's chimney. Whew. I just saw people wrapping up Sergeant's chimney. So I did not climb Sergeant's chimney. I ended up climbing some finger crack. Something like that you drill way back. But now we just got to follow the slabs to the top. 